hello friends hope you all are doing well today i am gonna tell you or show you something new topic related to hypac before we move on i just click my software icon to restart it okay here we go this is my another project of a hypac you can see the data contents data sets and also the plan line and okay but uh, i'm not sure which data set i'm gonna work here now i work with this data set and uh, i have to off the unnecessary things in this project okay and here we go the channel plan file i need not this also here okay this is my data set and uh, today uh, I am going to show you how we plot contours in using this HyPack. So you know what is contour? Uh, I think everyone is know it but uh, for better understanding I want to repeat this again. A contour line is a line which is uh, joining the same elevation. Actually it is a set of line which is uh, which joining the same elevation data to a line file okay through so this line we can easily identify which um, which uh, which region or area is a uh, higher elevation or lower elevation something like that okay now this is my data set you can s if i zoom it you can see this is my data set obviously uh, this is a data set it's a depth mode data set it's not elevation data set remember it it's a depth mode data set and the depth is obtained considering the lowest low water level in this region okay now each and every thing before uh, uh, performing the contour the first and foremost uh, thing is to do a tin model do you know what is tin model a tin model is actually the elaboration of tin is uh, triangulated irrigation uh, I irregular triangulated irrigation network okay so each and every triangle you can uh, interpolate the data set on it okay now i can go to show you how we pin these data sets you can go to preparation editor uh, no no i think um, where is it it's, it's it is in the yes it is in the final product tab you can see the tin model okay another thing is tumor 64 bit uh, both are working both are working the same way it is your desire which one you can choose i can only click this one uh, this is the tin toolbar okay and um, i have to go this uh, new tab there we go we can see there is the main input file and this is actually my xyz file okay which one is which xyz file i have to choose here the postwork root 16 xyz file okay now the tin maximum size actually i obtained the data at an interval of uh, 20 meter uh, but for my um, complete triangulation area i have to uh, just like uh, to extend some distance okay so it is 10 20 meter interval i input here it is maybe 30 meter interval is more than enough okay ensure that it is in your death mode okay it must be checked now if i click ok then you can see there is a triangular irrigated triangulation surface is created then i move to the modify tab and click there and there is also you can see the channel sections t edit in edit 3 in color and auto range etc I want to show you how my tin look alike. Okay, then we move to the edit tin tab. Okay, you can see this is my tin model results. Okay, if I zoom it, you can see. Here you go. More zoomer. Here you go. This is the triangulation. Okay. Triangulation. Okay. Uh, now uh, I think uh, it should be okay now if I 
go back to there then edit 3d tint you can also look that 3d look alike how it looks you can see you can also spin it okay this is my data set actually okay ah, now <laughs> model if I click contour then you can see the contour window and 3d model if I click it you can see the 3d model of the contour okay now I move to the export tab and here we go this is the option is called DXF you can just simply click, click on it and you can see there is a more option is export it is in 2D format or 3D format. Actually, I am interested to plot the 3D contour so that uh, if I click on the line, then it can show also my the elevation or depth data. Okay, so I just move to 3D contour, and this is not necessary. And enable smoothing so the contour is contour lines should be smooth through this step, and check this contour. And control level 3D control level and steps. Uh, steps is an important. What is the control interval? If it is by default is one, uh, but uh, I have to change it uh, based on the. Yeah. So here we go. This is my range of the color tab. So before I, mm, I have to show you. Actually, before I will perform this, uh, we have to understood the what is my highest and lowest range so that the contour is uh, uh, be colorful using this palette okay in that case I don't think so this is uh, the actual uh, reflection of the contour tool palette so that I have to change it um, so I just um, change it what is my you have to inspect what is your highest and lowest RL you can see 3.9 to 1 uh, simply like uh, it is uh, 4 to 4 to 1 ok now I have to change it uh, change my palette so how do how we do it go to the palette 1 tab and then go to the option open color files uh, maybe not band set bands ok depth range minimum is minus 100 this is not necessarily here this is minimum level is uh, mm, 1 and the maximum level is 4 and the increment maybe 0 0.5 0 0.5 ok clear existing ranges ok then you have to apply it ok now I apply this palette here so uh, but uh, I can sh I can't see the reflection here also here if I want to see the reflection according to my palette then I go to the control panel tab just click on it or setting tab move to the sounding tab and then go to color is already black so change it color by depth and apply it at ok here you go you can see the whole data set is divided into according to my palette okay. now I perform again the tin model click on the tin model icon and then do the same thing I do before ok this is 30 click OK and then modify edit tin to ensure that tin is working properly ok then move to the export tab and then move to DXF it's 3D contour so check the export contours it's 3D level and the step it is most important steps is I simply check here the color schemes that I have did in a little while ago Okay, so the control attributes check on this tab 
and then select first to last and then click the high pack and then uh, we have to enable level and uh, height patch and decimal level is zero maybe not should be decimal level is one so that you can see the point inter point five interval levels okay and then check okay so and now we have to save it your save your data save your control file actually click on the output file and then name it hit the save button okay finally you have to click on the export button here there we go you can see the control is generated okay there we go now click the exit button now how our control look alike if I want to see it I have to go to my background file. Where is my background file? Um, Project file. Click on it and then go to the background and then the control. And I just uh, uncheck my postdoc data. Here you can see. This is my contour. Okay. It is actually plotted within the about 5 meter interval. So if I done it with the more closer interval then you have to see the you can see the data set in this region also okay in this region okay there we go actually my last limit is 4 so the so it plot the 4 contour line and it is above the 4 line so and my interval is uh, maybe uh, 0.25 but if I set my interval 0.25 then and by higher level if I insert at 5 meter then you can see more control lines here okay in this region okay here we go this is my control line and uh, uh, it is actually saved in a DXF format uh, if you have uh, the AutoCAD so you can uh, see it more precisely if I return to the my original I can go through in that fashion also. Okay, explore, open in explorer. It automatically move to that file. Okay, control interval 0.5 meter DXF. If I click it, then it opens the AutoCAD files. Okay, just give it some time. Actually, it is a combination of a uh, high pack and uh, AutoCAD software. Oh. It's a one in two. <laughs> uh, just open it out, open up, open up. You can see the onto level also 1.5, 1.5. This is the 1.5 meter depth, and this is one. Okay, up to four. is still opening you know now this uh, the AutoCAD uh, software is uh, it's too much heavier than before uh, because I remember when I use uh, when I used 2007 AutoCAD version, it is more lighter, and after that, the CAD version is more heavier, and uh, it requires uh, lots of um, memories to consume, and also it act actually it is uh, incorporated new features also then, so that is oh yeah it is open now, okay no. There you go. Okay, it is 
still not still be able to do so okay here you go this is my cat file if I mm, remember I can uh, say one thing yeah, in my in my pre preparing my control pyramid team that uh, sorry e exporting my DXF that uh, I have to show you the 3d control lines so that you can uh, easily click and see the elevation or elevation or depth of this particular line if I there is a command my cursor into any line you can see this is my x y and z value okay usually the z value is uh, it is in a scientific mode if you change it shown in a feet or meter axis uh, I don't know how to change it uh, actually there is an option to change it in this then this. okay you can see this is X Y and C value here actually it is uh, expressed in a feet and inches format uh, to change it uh, Actually, I don't remember how to express it in a SI unit. Uh, just uh, mm, uh, unit. Okay. It is moved in architectural fashion so that you can say in a decimal. Um, decimal. It's a meter, actually. Meter. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. This time it is okay. Okay. You can see this is my easting nodding and the z value is minus one point five meter. Okay. Okay. Uh, hope you understand understood all things. Uh, how to plot contour here and if you have any problem to doing do so or you can uh, know some details about it please um, please please write it in my in write it in the comment section so that i can notify you how you can do it more precisely and never forget to subscribe my channel and please 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 subscribe my channel and also to promote me to do something new using utilizing this hypex software that's all from my side. Hope you all are doing well. Bye-bye from now today.